Hello my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be doing a word hero review, a quick demo, and I'm going to show you how to use the long form editor. But before we do that, let me go ahead and pick a random comment using the pickawinner.co to see who won the free uh, small AI channel master class. And let's see, for those of you who don't know, I had a uh, incident with horrible neighbors that basically built a golf course right next to me and started hitting all days, all hours of the day, wouldn't let me sleep. And for those who gave me support, who commented, uh, I just want to say thank you. Okay, you know who you are. It's right here. We did really well. And I'm going to now use this and I'm going to go ahead, let me get a shareable link, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner from this uh, video to see who I can give away my course to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fetch. And let's see, include replies. All right, I'm going to include replies as well. Let's see who the winner is. Pick a winner. All right, so my Wix, I'm going to, uh, if, if you're watching this, you won the free uh, small YouTube AI mastery course. I'm going to go ahead and comment, let you know, and uh, I just want to let you know in this video as well. So for those of you who didn't win in this, uh, in this contest, it's no problems, no worries. There will be other ones that come. Just be sure to go ahead and pay attention and uh, make sure you you do what's needed to enter the contest. All right. So that's that's going to be that. Now let's go on to Word Hero and Word Hero. Uh, for those of you who don't know, like I'm, this channel is all about AI tools, how to increase your workflow and increase and basically make a income using uh, digital tools and become a digital nomad. Now, you know, I've, I've been using a lot of uh, AI content writers in the past. Some of them are decent, but a lot of them charge like a monthly fee. A lot of them charge a really high monthly fee like uh, Jarvis, AKA Jasper, AKA Content AI. Um, this, I wanted to look for an alternative specifically for Jasper, a paid alternative, not a free one. And this is what I found. And I gotta say, Word Hero is really, really nice. It's content AI writer, but it, look, look what it has. Just if you look at business, it has book descriptions, book titles. So if you want to do like Kindle books, you have brand name ideas, uh, features to benefits, marketing ideas, product description. You, you have so much, so much here. And then marketing, you have, um, blog intros, blog topics, code emails. Now, the one I really like to use, and uh, sorry, I, I, say I like to use uh, AI to help me out. And the reason why is because I really hate writing them is code emails, emails and email subject lines. I really, really dislike. The next one after that would probably be blog outlines and intros. Uh, social media, you got video description. That's another one I use a lot. Yeah, video descriptions, uh, video titles, not so much. Let's see. The other one is writing tools. Let's see. Not this one. Not poems. Ah, Core Answers. That's another one that's that's very useful as well. You can use this to generate, um, you know, answer questions and generate some traffic towards your your website or your link. Okay. Food recipes. That's a bit, you know gimmicky um fictional story ideas not too bad but the main ones is like business and marketing also some writing tools is actually pretty decent but they have a lot of different templates that you can use and so you have a very like a like really good value for money and on top of that um you have an unlimited plan so you don't have to worry about uh using not being able to use all your credits right so let's get into it. Uh, let's, let's get into the feature that I, I like to use the most, uh, which is the long form content editor. So if you want to check that out, you go up to home, you go to editor 
and you click on the editor and then from here what you can do is uh, you can go ahead and hold on one second all right so from here you can go to writing tools Right, and it'll have a whole bunch of different writing tools for you to pick from. All right. Typically, I like to go with the uh, blog headline. So, what is your article about? Uh, I would say saving money by living. Let's see, living the van life. All right. And then click on write for me. So then it's going to take what I want to write about and then it's going to generate some different topics. Uh, say goodbye to expensive van, expensive life. Live the van life. Unlock savings. Try out the van lifestyle today. Living on a budget. Embrace the van lifestyle now. From home ownership to the van life. Saving money and more. Uh, I would go, I kind of like Van Life Mafia, a thrifty way to see the world. That's pretty interesting. So I click on it, copy it, paste it in here. So now I have the title. Okay. And then I can go to the outline. So I click on the outline. It already, you know, generates what I want to write about, click on write for me, and it'll generate a an outline for me. And I just pick and choose which I like, which one I like. Now the great thing about this tool is it's also an online web-based tool, so you don't have to worry about downloading anything or any kind of system requirements or whether it's Mac or iOS compatible. So uh, sorry, Mac or Windows compatible. So um, you know, let's say if I like this, I just click the I can either click on this and copy it, or I can just click on here and it'll auto populate it all right and so from there if i want a paragraph i just highlight it and hit the rocket okay so blog paragraphs and then from there it will auto automatically generate content uh based off the of benefits of van life i'm going to let it load so you can see in real time what it's actually like how long it takes to create content and how much content it creates right. so you get the inside look and you can determine for yourself whether this is right for you. Okay, so it says the topic is benefits of van life. Van life has become a lifestyle trend among millennials who seek to explore the world in an affordable and conventional way. Hitting the open road in a van is an ideal way to get away from it all, while also allowing you to bring your home with you as you go. There are many benefits to living out of a van, including cost of cost savings freedom convenience and adventure the cost savings associated with van life can be significant when compared to traditional vacations or renting apartments van dwellers can save money on lodging by camping in their own vehicle instead of paying for hotels or motels each night additionally they don't have to worry about cost uh, costly flight tickets or gas bills since they can drive wherever they want at their own pace now that sounds pretty decent to me and uh, these these kind of like lines, these blue lines, red lines. Basically, I'm using another AI tool stacked on top of this called Grammarly that will I will use later on to kind of you know rinse this off and, and, and check how it goes. You know, kind of make sure that it's it's readable. All right, but basically that's 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 what you do, and then you just continue on to the next one. Uh, budget budgeting essential cost. You go ahead here. And you do the same thing. So I click on the rocket and let it <laughs> let it go. Now, if I want to continue this, I can always highlight this this paragraph and do the same thing to to add more paragraphs to this section. But I just want to show you the basic overall concept of how this works. They're very easy to use, as you can see. Uh, there's not much to it.
All right, so let, let's go ahead and read it and see how it works. Budgeting is essential to living a comfortable life, and it's even more important when traveling the world, whether you're going on a back, a packing adventure or living full-time in a van. Uh, keeping track of your expenses will help you make sure you can afford the journey. Van Life Mania, A Thrifty Way to See the World, is an article about how budgeting can be used to reduce costs while exploring different parts of the world. From researching cost-effective destinations to creating new plans that are easy on the wallet. This article outlines some essential tips for budgeting while traveling. It's, it also explores how van life uh, has become increasingly popular as an affordable way of seeing the world and offers suggestions on ways to save money while living in, in a van. With these practical strategies, readers can have their dream tri trip without breaking the bank. And then all you would do is just do the same thing over and over again. Now, what I would do is basically bold this and uh, c create a uh, heading so that you can you can see it clearly, right? But it's just the same thing all the way down. So from here, I'll just do this all the way down, and eventually you you hit about a thousand five hundred words. Now, I don't want to bore you with this. I'm going to do it. This is going to be the last time you get the idea. Okay. But it's just a few few clicks. And then from here, what I would do, because I want you to get the, the basic essence of this, right, is I would take this, copy everything in here. Oops. I would go to Grammarly. Right. And this is Grammarly Premium, by the way. So um, I, I think it's worth it if you write a lot of documents or you do a lot of video scripts so you can check to see how unique it is. Plus, it helps polish up your, your writing, or at least the AI writer. Right? So I'll go to New. But if you want to learn more about my entire process, you can go ahead and uh, check out my small YouTube channel AI course. It's on sale for a one-time fee. You can go ahead and set the goals with the Grammarly. Domain is general, intent, I'm gonna put inform, audience knowledgeable, and formality is neutral. Okay, click on done. Now, the thing you wanna be, you wanna pay attention to is the overall score. Most AI writers are lucky to make it to 80, <laughs> right? I'm telling you that now. This is not just me, uh, you know, saying, saying stuff. You can, you can go ahead and check it yourself independently. Most AI writers, let me repeat, have a, have trouble getting to 80. Now, we're here routinely gets to 80, 85, you know, almost all the time, all right? And what you want to do is you want to make sure you can get it to 90 or above, all right? So you go ahead and, and kind of correct these things. And the other thing you want to check is obviously plagiarism. So this is just a section, but you know, I just want to show you the process so you can go ahead and replicate this yourself. All right, so it's 2% plagiarism. Typically, I try not to go above 10%, all right? So that's that's my my stats right there. And uh, from from using, once I get this to 90 and you know, below 10% plagiarism, go ahead and publish it or use this as, as needed, and then it's good to go. I don't have any problems with that. So I just wanna say that Word Hero is an amazing, um, it's an amazing AI content writer. Uh, right now, it's on sale for, a limited time only. I don't know how long it's going to last, but you have you can get uh, a lifetime deal, which is which is wonderful. All right, most AI content writers want you to be stuck stuck to them for life, and I don't think that's cool. Plus, the content from a uh, Word Hero is amazing. So I'm going to leave a link for you for those of you interested uh, down below. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. I really couldn't uh, get this far without my digital nomads, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.